everybody, I'm Fanny Easter. Welcome to Dog Training Nation. Um, I'm actually teaching a large dog not to dash through the door. Um, as I've said before, if you don't have a door dasher, you're probably not sure what I'm talking about. But that is a dog that the minute you put your hand on the door, open the door, they stick their nose through and just push through the door. Um, I think it's kind of rude. And my gosh, what if you do it at the front door and your dog gets loose? never want that to happen. So um, I'm going to show you how to teach your dog to be a little bit politer at the door. So I'm going to go ahead and explain first and then I will demo what it looks like. Uh, I will tell you the demo is raw. You're seeing it from my perspective and what it looks like so I hope it makes sense. So um, first thing you want to do is, is that you go to the door and you notice when you, I put or you put your hand on the doorknob, what does your dog do? They're right there. That's their cue, you're about to open the door. So of course, they're gonna run and say, hey, open it so I can go out. So you put your hand on the door, I open it a little bit. If they're pushing their nose through the crack, I close the door. I'm not pinching their nose, I'm not pushing against anything, I don't wanna cause any harm. I'm basically teaching my dog that if you push, uh-oh, consequences, door closes. Okay, consequences are powerful, all right? Just like if you go to work, you get paid, you don't go to work, you don't get paid, kind of what's going on in this door, all right? So eventually I open the door a little further. Usually they stick their nose through, trying to get through the crack of the door. Uh-oh, door closes. We go back and forth. Usually by the sixth or seventh time, the dog realizes, okay, me pushing my nose in the door is not getting the door open. Okay, what do you want? Eventually what happens is, is the dog will take a step back away from the door. Bingo, done, that's what we want. I say yes, open the door and let them out. Now you notice that I'm not actually rewarding the dog with cheese or using a clicker. What I'm doing is I'm saying yes when they're away from the door, I'm marking the behavior, but I'm opening the door and rewarding them to go outside. A lot of times we get stuck on cookies and cheese and lots of really good stuff for treats for dogs. Don't get me wrong, that works, it works beautifully. But sometimes even just letting your dog have access to the backyard is a great reward. Uh, maybe even playing tug with your dog is a great reward, okay? So that's a little bit um, about teaching your dog not to do okay, that. So here it is with a bigger dog. I've already let Stella out, so he wants to go out really badly. I'm gonna raise it up so you can see from my perspective. Door opens, oop, it closes. I'm gonna take a step back so you can kind of see what's going on. Notice when I grab the knob, he's all um, meticulously there. Let me turn you this way so you, oops. Sorry folks, this is raw. <laughs> so you can see a little bit better. I open the door, oh, it closes. <gasps> no, 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 door opens. Poor baby boy. And I wait for him to back up. He's looking at me like, why are you not opening the door? You've always done that in the past. He takes a step back, door opens. Oh, he bombards me. I wait again. And usually all of this is silent. He waited, yes. He actually waited for just a little second. I hope you get to see that. So that's a little bit about how to help with door dashing um, or teaching your dog to wait. Um, one thing I want you to know is you may have to practice several times. This is probably the first time I've done it with my dogs. They're not bad door dashers, but they can be a little something else when there's something out there in the yard. So, all right, happy training. So let's talk about a release word. Um, I really don't use a release word as much as I used to because I use a clicker. And to me, when I click and give food, that is basically telling my dog the behavior's done and you can kind of move around freely. Um, I do like to add a release word later, especially for um, wait, because you want to pause them with a wait, then you need to kind of unpause them with a release word. Um, choose a release word, it doesn't really matter. It, everybody used to just get all in a tizzy if you chose okay because what if the UPS man said okay and your dog ran through the door yeah 
No, pick something that you can remember and that the whole family will use. You can see, you can say okay, I say free, uh, you can say that'll do, you can say squash, zucchini, spaghetti, it doesn't really matter as long as your dog knows when they hear that word that they can kind of move around, okay? So um, I always just kind of say yes, they can release, or I say okay and release them into the yard or whatever it is for weight. All right, there you go. So that's teaching Sobek how to actually uh, be polite at the door. Uh, practice in interior doors, like your bedroom door, your bathroom door, um, and uh, practice a couple times on that, and then even after a few days at your back door so that you are kind of setting your dog up for success. All right? All right, that's it for me. Um, I hope this made uh, uh, some, some door dashing pet parents happy. Uh, I will see you around. Uh, thank you for visiting me at Dog Training Nation and uh, bye.